welcome back to Paradise. June in June Great in Britain. Britain. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> welcome back to the video. This is episode 10 and we are, we're actually the third episode into the breaks now. This has been quite frustrating, obviously, waiting on parts and then the parts not arriving and so on. So it's, it's been a little bit delayed, but we've got to crack on, which is why we're working in this horrible rain today. Been reconditioned. They've been reconditioned. New parts in, all nice and uh, painted. So in the previous video, which if you've not seen it, I suggest that you check it out. We were completely upfront and honest and we talked about the cost of the car. So what we paid for the car and what we've paid for all the parts so far. So if you haven't seen that, make sure that you check it out. In this video, we're going to finally try and bleed the brakes, get them fitted, move the car under its own steam. The cam sensor's not arrived. That's another part delay. Um, but we're, we're hoping that we can run it enough to move it onto the drive. And then if we've got time later and if the weather clears, I think it should do a bit later, shouldn't it? In about an hour, it should stop raining. And if that's the case, we'll put it into the middle of the drive and give it a, a proper jet wash and a clean because we've rinsed it down a few times, but we've never actually washed and polished it. There's still sort of uh, so, grime and stuff if, knocking around. So if you're in, so if you're into sort of, it won't be detailing, but if you're into watching cars get washed, you might want to stick around for that part. So for now, let's have a look at the brakes and just do a quick recap on where we are with those. So we were able to fit the rears. I'm just going to zoom in. They're all successfully there and okay. So the rears are on, but well, they're not bled, but we've obviously we've changed the brake lines. We've fitted the calipers, discs, pads, etc. The fronts, the discs are on. They're, they're just, just literally placed in, hanging there, in position. Um, and just a quick one on the discs. Unless you want to have a look at this. We've had a few comments about the condition of these hubs and a lot of people have said to us that uh, we should clean these up we have actually off camera given them a wire brush and there's no big lumps of rust or anything on there that's quite even though it might not look it on the video that's a really smooth surface so we don't imagine that there's going to be any issues with vibration or anything like that and i know some people have also said don't use copper slip i'm really not sure about that comment maybe i'm wrong but i've used copper slip on brake pads and things like that for for decades and it's just never been an issue so i'm not sure about that comment if you want to elaborate on that we'll listen um, but the but the hubs the hub faces front and rear are fine so we're not going to be doing any more work on those but i just wanted to uh, address it because you'd mentioned it right, right then let's move over uh, to the bench and have a look at where we are with the front brakes now well picked these up the other day all nicely uh, finished and Maybe a slightly darker silver than we we're after, but um, they look quite nice. Uh, like almost like a slightly off silver, and they haven't uh, painted the mating surface, which is good. You know what they're doing. And these have all got brand new uh, pistons in there as well from the other calipers and all new seals. But these are the original calipers, just um, repainted, refinished, redone. They're looking good, aren't they? Ready to go on. Complete pads go in and then off we go. Get these bolted on. Yeah, because it's yeah. Uh, miserable. And it's absolutely horrible. Horrible. Thanks to my dad for the new gloves. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely better than the old ones. Yeah. This is absolutely horrible and we're on the brink of being rained off. <sighs> It'd actually be a nice, pleasant job if it wasn't raining. They're not going to fit themselves, so we've got to, got to get them in. Right, so that is both calipers loaded now. It is so bloody wet. Oh God. I'm just going to run this. I think we'll fit, we'll fit these and then we'll, we'll have a cup of tea and wait for the rain to ease off because this is just ridiculous. Right, which side is which is the question. Have to work. Like a Jenga puzzle, which way around do they go? That's the way around they go. Nice, nice hardware again. Nice hardware. Hmm. Factory bolts are nice this morning. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't waste any time doing that. Perfect. Good enough.
it's on. Excellent. As you can see by that little montage of the horrendous rain, unfortunately we were rained off last week, but we are back and it is a beautiful sunny day. Sunny day in Great Britain. We've got rich tea biscuits, we've got the service manual, we've got a compressor, and we have some loaded from brake calipers, and we've tested them off camera and they seem to fit. So plan today is bang them on and bleed them and maybe move it. Yes. The bleeding contra contraption looks like one of Chris's <laughs> bedroom toys, but actually it's for bleeding actually the brakes. Actually it's yours. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is mine, but um, strictly for garage use only. So we're going to get these brakes on and we are going to bleed them up, get the wheels on, get it off the ground, hopefully move it if we can to where the Land Rover is. And Appease your missus. And give it a polish. Polish? Polish, yeah, give it a polish. Yeah, let's do it then, let's shall see we? See if it looks half decent-ish some way. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see, it's like that. Arm. Doesn't uh, the weather being nice make it so much easier to work? Well, you can't bleed, uh, you can't bleed brakes in the rain, can you? <laughs> no. Or your reservoir will fill end up full of water. Indeed. Which is far from ideal. Use your clampy thing. Where's that clampy thing on? What, the little? Yeah. The little clampy thing? Yeah, so you can hold it and push it in at the same time. I'll go and get it. If you want, I can act as the clampy thing. Okay. It's just getting it the right amount of clampage. Oh. More, more clampage needed, I think. More needed? More needed, yeah. Look. I reckon. So if you could... You got the hammer? No, it needs the hammer, doesn't it? I'll go and get the clampy thing. Clampy thing and the hammer, the hammer. is there. This is obviously the correct tool for the job. Hey, if it works, it works, doesn't it? That looks a bit more like it. That might do it. If it can get in. That's going to do it. Don't lose that. What Chris is doing is just putting a, a little pin in the bottom of it, which is just like a little retainer pin, so that you, you, you can basically quick release the calipers, which is quite a nice design but the pin's a little bit awkward to get in. There we go. Oh, we need the pliery thing. Are we in? We're in, yeah. That's it. Have you got the circlip? I've got it in my finger now. I just, I managed on the other side, which well, we've already push done, it on, by the way. Just to push it on? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gone on nicely, yeah. And off camera, just whiz around here. Yeah, that's in. <laughs> Is that line tightened up? I don't think that line's tightened up yet. There's one we did earlier. Um, the line isn't tightened up. We need, to, we need to check that all of these flexies are on properly and that the clips are present and stuff. I check the carriers on the back. So I think the lines on the back as well. Just check the lines on the back. Do you reckon do it off camera? No one wants to see us doing that, do they? No, do it. It's not, yeah. it's not so interesting. We'll, we'll do that off camera and you guys will see us once all of the brakes have been nipped up and we've made sure that everything's tight and uh, then we can get on to bleeding the brakes. Okay, so we have Sprayed them all down with brake cleaner. Check that all the flexies are tight. All four corners. Chris is just gonna get busy with Honest. another suction pump. <laughs> and the first thing that we're gonna do with the brake fluid is just okay. remove all of the old crappy old fluid out of there. That one's nice and empty anyway. That must have drained all on its own. Lovely. That one's not got that much in it. And you guys probably already know this, but if you're dealing with brake fluid, don't get it on your paintwork. Yeah. Because it will just burn through it. Suck her out. Go on then, suck it out, Chris. There actually isn't a huge amount in here anyway. Is that all of it? Pretty much, just a little bit if I can get that hoovered. That in there. Horrible, why you need a, the world's largest syringe for this, but <laughs> hey, it comes in handy. Do it, uh, comes in handy, doesn't it? That's what she said. I think a smaller one would have been better for that. There we go. Actually, was not the world's worst brake fluid I've ever seen in the history of time. That wasn't. Well, that's the general sort of story with this car, isn't it? It seems. 
but it seems weirdly um, preserved. well preserved. So Chris has decided that he wants to wipe it out with a bit of tissue. I could just see a load of uh, slime at the bottom. So. And for some reason he's chosen to only put one glove on, which I can't quite work out. Michael Jackson, isn't it? Eight tis. It's not what, yeah, well, yeah, but it's not a white glove. Is that looking cleaner in there? Yeah, it's got a bit of sludgy stuff at the bottom. So it's good to get, get, get it out. Not, it's not done yet. So what are they looking like? They haven't got to be perfect, have they? No, yeah, it's only breaks. You need breaks. Uh, Dropping the thing. This is the, where the magic happens. Proper, job, proper tool for the job as usual. Lovely clean fluid. You want to overfill them slightly because we want to, obviously it's going to reduce it down, so. It might, it might spit back on us. Okay. Cool, all right then. So the next job is to rig up the old compressor and we're going to do it in order of, whenever you bleed the brakes, you do it from the furthest point in yeah, the master cylinder. First, yeah. So it'll be rear right, rear left. And it's going to take some because it's Front empty, right. completely empty. Completely empty? Yeah, so yeah. it's going to take some. Yeah, and it's going to be nice to see the horrible fluid come out of it. Okay, so Apologies for the noise, but the way this works is we have a pipe connected to the bleed nipple, connected to this, and then when I open the valve it should pull fluid through the line and fill this reservoir. Chris has got to monitor the level while I do that. So here goes. Nothing yet. No. I don't know whether it's pulling hard enough. Nothing. Doesn't seem like it's working. No, nothing at all. Not a, not a movement of anything. Not a smidge. It's too low pressure. We'll probably have to go old school. What, do you want to go old school then? Yeah. Alright. We're abandoning the compressor idea and we're going old school. Because that's not going to work. I'm not seeing a lot happening at the reservoir end, to be honest. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something happening at the reservoir end. Here we go. Chris often There's panics. some bubbles happening, he often, finally. He often panics. Go on then. They're all broken. Oh, that's easy. It means you get more biscuits. There we go. Lovely rich tea biscuit. Tastes better with a little bit of oil and brake fluid, doesn't it? Yeah, always does. Bit of oil and brake fluid, yeah, and so, it's reasonably clean. We've gone back to the old-fashioned method, and I've started pumping a little bit through, and it looks pretty. Uh, look, looks pretty good. Chris is ready to uh, tighten the knot. Tighten the knot. So where's me? Uh, where's me spanner? I'm ready. Yep. Come in. Do it. Do a bit. Pump it. Right, and then I'm going to push it. Yeah. Tell me when you want me to press down. Uh, so we've got a bit of air situation coming again now. Okay, right, keep going. I'm getting a bit of air again. Go for it. Go on then, you ready? Yeah. We've still got some stuff in the reservoir. Still got some in the reservoir, yeah. Okay. Right, see if that's... Uh, we might have to do a couple of rounds of it to get it a nice firm pedal. But uh, we'll Can see. that one off? Yeah. That's done, yeah? Well, for now. Yeah. I think we'll do... We'll come back to it because there's going to be loads of air in that caliper, isn't there? So it might it might form a bubble or two. Lovely bubbly. Okay. Okay. Yep. This should come through quite quickly. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Is that all right? Yeah, we're getting there. Still a couple of bubbles coming through. We're not running out in the top, are we? No. Any good? It's looking all right, actually, pretty quickly, yeah. Tell me when you can lock it off, then. Yeah, ready. Go on, then. Done it? Okay, yep. Yeah. Right, what we'll try, just for a laugh, is the, the handbrake mechanism. Yeah. Ready? Ready for the handbrake. It looks like the handbrake's on to me. Is it off? It's off now, yeah. Is it a fly-off type thing? Yeah. Seems to work. Let's try it again. That look all right? 
I think so. Is that released? Yeah, it's released. Happy days. All right. Um, I think that's good enough for now. So front right then now. Yep. We're cooking, aren't we? Cooking, exactly. Maybe. That's a Gen Z term, isn't it? We're cooking, baby. So Let's top this bad boy off again and then look yep. at the front. Yep, pumping, baby. Go on, it's coming. All the shitty old fuel um, fluids coming out. Yeah, the foot, the flip masters had a bit of uh, back stuff coming in. Doesn't look like there's any bubbles. Oh, there's bubbles now. Let me just top it back up again. Looks like it's getting a bit low. I think you're. Uh, I think you're all good, mate. I've locked this one off for now. Okay. It's starting to get a relatively firm pedal. We'll go around them all again. Right. Hang fire. One one pump. Pump it, yeah? yeah, one pump and hold. One pump and hold. That's tight. It's tight, yeah, it should be. So we're, we're going to bleed the brakes once more, going from the furthermost to the nearest again, just to try and make sure that we've got all of the air out of the system. And then once we've done that, you're going to join us for tight wheels and tyres back on. We're going to take it off the jack stands, run it, and move it under its own steam. 18 years. Mm, but we're exciting. only moving it to the other side of the drive. <laughs> yeah. After that, we're going to wash it and polish it. So hopefully it's going to look, look like a different car and have working brakes. And we will be almost MOT ready at that point. It's exciting, isn't it? Very exciting. We'll be on the road soon. So annoyingly we've had some audio issues on this episode due to the wireless mics and the battery power. My fault I suppose for not charging them. But what I'm basically saying here is we are now at a stage where we can actually move the car for the first time in 18 years and uh, typically <laughs> the audio didn't record. But anyway it does come back on in a minute and um, you'll, you will get to see us move the car. So Chris is just closing the bonnet now. 
and you didn't hear it start, but out it comes. It's going. Handbrake working? Handbrake works, but the brakes are still not amazing. Well, they're not. You probably should have um, pumped it up before you drove it. Maybe. Should I try again? It did just cut out, by the way. Did it? Yeah. Just try again then. Handbrake's not amazing either. Yeah, it hasn't got a lot of brake. Quite a bit on it, yeah. Well, first time it's moved into its own power in the band. 18 years. 18 years. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's been sat for 18 years and not turned yeah. a wheel, and this is the first time we've moved it. Yeah. The styling on the wheel, on the inside of the door there. Nice, isn't it? I mean, that's. That could be now, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the way it wrapped, the dash wraps around. Yeah, yeah. One day it will be a beautiful car, this. <laughs> But not yet. It's beautiful now, mate. Don't you worry. I'm not sure my wife appreciates it. Well, we certainly hear you coming. So I'm thinking we'll put this trim on here. Yeah. And then uh, give it a nice, a nice tickle. What do you reckon? So just give it a quick. Uh, a nice wash. Because it's, it's never really had a proper have a look what we've got. No. There you go. And now the climax is over, we're going to give it a nice wash. The last time it was washed was by Johnny. It was literally a quick job in the rain, so it's never really had a proper clean, has it? No, it's not a sponge bath. So we're going to give it a nice, gentle clean, bit of a polish, and hopefully just, you know, improve it that way. So we'll have a better idea of what the body's like. So put a bit of a pre-wash first. Bit of a pre-wash. Chris, Chris using his girlfriend's um, cleaning products, she'll go mad when she That's watches this. Just going to give it a treat, a little bit of a tickle with the clay bar. Um, if the audio is bad, by the way, apologies for that. We've um, run out of battery in the wireless mics, but hopefully it'll be okay. Now, people will be going mad at my clay bar technique for two reasons. One is that I'm shit at doing clay barring. The other thing is I'm wearing a wedding ring. <laughs> but I won't scratch the car, it's fine. I'm making you nervous now, aren't I, Chris?
to give it a tickle with the old super resin polish. Clean in the what? The glass. Clean, yeah, clean the glass last. Just give it a quick one. How long did it take me to do that? 30 seconds? Seconds, yeah. And quick update, we've polished half of the bonnet, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> that looks, looks really good. good. So Chris is going to use some poor boys wax. Glaze, show glaze. No affiliation. Yep. Made but, in the USA though, so it's uh, all right spec. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack on and do the other half of the bonnet. Chris is going to chase me around with the poor boys. Let's continue. I need to start this up. I need to do this on wet to be honest. I won't do the entire nose, I'll just do the top bit. Yeah. Top of this wing and then I'll move to the very back. Yeah. Look at that. Well, I think that's one of the better ones to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> So while I've been cleaning the front of it, Chris has been taking these lenses off and giving this a clean. Tell us in the comments. Have you ever seen anything like this? What the hell is that? Give, give me the little thing. Got it, it's all sort of jellyish. Ugh. I reckon that. Some sort of weird mushroom or something. Yeah, that's a weird mushroom. Not the sort you should eat. No, definitely not. Got a little bit carried away with the mop, but look at how clean the car is. It's come up absolutely amazingly. And this is only, well, this is its first proper clean, really. But we've not spent hours and hours and hours on it. We've spent a few hours um, and we're definitely ready for a rest. But it's just come up so well. Obviously, the wheels let it down a bit because they need. To be refurbed, but we're now of the opinion that we're not going to bother painting it. Is that right? I think so. I think touching the uh, 
these white marks. Put in these there. bits. But the shine on it. It's a shame to lose the originality. Yeah, and I, I think that once the originality is gone, it's gone forever. And we think that once the originality is gone, it's gone forever. Let us know in the comments what you what you reckon. If it was your car, would you paint it? What do you think we should do with it? But we think that, well, we quite like it the way it is. Um, if in case you, in case you are wondering about the situation with the cam sensor, I've got some slightly bad news, and that is that the cam sensor is in and fitted. The car's still not running properly, so more updates coming soon on that. But we don't want to bore you with lots of engine stuff. I think what we'd prefer to do is make it work and then give you a nice happy update and tell you how we did it. So as always guys stay tuned, thank you so much for watching and sorry that we weren't around last week, we literally got rained off. Totally different story today so we've cracked on and done loads but see you for the next one.